We have a traffic alert for you now if you're driving around Qualcomm Stadium this weekend. Expect to use your brakes more often because a large religious event is expected to cause traffic delays in the area. Our Adrian Moore is live at the queue with what it was like for drivers today during that morning rush hour. Adrian? Yeah, Carlo and Barbara Lee, take one look here at the Qualcomm parking lot and you think that the Chargers were actually playing. Some 40,000 Jehovah's Witnesses are here for their annual convention. And with that many people, it's created a traffic nightmare on our roads. And the waits have been absolutely brutal today with reports of up to two-hour delays. We said about two-hour traffic because there's so much congestion. Jeshua Vaughn's first trip to Qualcomm Stadium was full of brake lights and gridlock. The police were doing the best to direct it but not only us as Jehovah's Witnesses, but everyone else were trying to get to where they were going. He's one of some 40,000 Jehovah's Witnesses who descended on the queue for the Keep on the Watch convention. And he wasn't the only one the Friars Road and Freeway Frenzy took a toll on. Well, it took like an hour and a half to get here. The annual three-day event draws faithfuls from around the world to worship, sing, listen to Bible lectures, and pray under one kingdom hall. In these times, people find life difficult. We get a lot of good counsel from the Bible, not only to how to run our families, how to become better husbands and wives and, and better children, uh, but there's also a very positive hope for the future. But with such a massive gathering, organizers admit it's been challenging to coordinate the traffic mess it creates for locals. Well, we're trying to mitigate the impact of our traffic uh, on the community. We have uh, restricted ourselves uh, during Thursday and Friday's program to stay till 6 o'clock so the major rush hour would be over. I started coming. But for longtime attendees like Susanna Hilsey, navigating through the maze of Orange Cone, San Diego Police, and the more than 150 parking staff is something she takes in stride. There were. Um, yeah, not as many Jehovah's Witnesses in the world then. It has progressed incredibly, and it's so wonderful to see the growth. Organizers anticipate an even larger influx of people over the weekend, a fact Jeshua Vaughn says he'll keep in mind for tomorrow and hopefully avoid another two-hour drive. It shouldn't be too bad the rest of the week because everyone knows how to get here now.